that's weird. Hey, Stan the Movie Man here with your WIMZ.com movie review. This week, your votes at WIMZ.com, well, actually, there were no votes at WIMZ.com because there was only one new movie this week, and it was Star Trek Into Darkness, starring Chris Pine, Zachary Quinto, Zoe Saldana, Bruce Greenwood, and Benedict Cumberbatch, to name just a few. Uh, the movie is following the crew of the Enterprise. Captain Kirk is in some trouble, played by Chris Pine. Captain Kirk has violated the Prime Directive on a planet when he allowed the primitive people to see the ship. Um, and uh, this was all in order to save Mr. Spock, played by Zachary Quinto, who was in the heart of an active volcano at the time. Uh, and in order to save Spock, the only way he could was to uh, have the ship, you know, uh, visible to the local indigenous people. This action gets him in an enormous amounts of trouble because he violates the Prime Directive, which is a major no-no. He gets busted down from Captain to First Officer, and Admiral Christopher Pike, played by Bruce Greenwood, is put back in charge of the Enterprise. At the same time all this is going on, a uh, terrorist by the name of John Harrison, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, has blown up a secret weapons uh, facility run by a shady operation known as Section 31 uh, in the heart of London. And to discuss uh, what all of this means, a uh, group of Starfleet admirals and high high-ranking leaders are uh, meeting in London when Harrison attacks that meeting as well. During that meeting, Admiral Pike is killed. Um, he, uh, Captain Kirk, wants to uh, go after Harrison and make him pay for what he's done because, of course, Admiral Pike was his mentor. And he's allowed to do so, uh, but is told that if you get caught, we're going to pretend we don't know who you are, because Harrison is hiding on the Klingon homeworld of Kronos. And, of course, tensions are always high between the Klingons and the Federation. So, off goes uh, Kirk and the rest of the crew of the Enterprise to exact their revenge on John Harrison. The movie is really good. I enjoyed it a great deal. Now, granted, uh, I was not a huge fan of everything J.J. Abrams did as far as uh, rebooting the Star Trek franchise and changing the timeline and adjusting the canon and things of that nature. However, I'm willing to forgive and forget because Star Trek Into Darkness is a lot of fun. The film is a uh, big, bright, loud, gaudy action-adventure and it works on numerous levels. For instance, the relationships between Kirk and Spock, Kirk and McCoy, and Spock and Uhura are uh, front and center through most of the film, and they are quite uh, entertaining, these relationships between these uh, characters, uh, often providing a fair amount of humor in the film. Uh, which is at times pretty heavy and sad and, and other things. Um, and, you know, uh, it looks great. The special effects are terrific. Um, and while, you know, I'm not exactly sure Benedict Cumberbatch was the perfect person to play the villain in this film, uh, he does a great job at it. And uh, the, the movie's a lot of fun, very exciting. Uh, you go through pretty much a roller coaster of emotions in Star Trek Into Darkness, and by the end of it, you're, you're pretty satisfied. At least I was. That's why I'm giving Star Trek Into Darkness five guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review, as well as to vote on the movie that I'll see next time. Questions or comments should be sent to StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net, and you can follow me on Twitter, at MovieManStan. Till next time, later, live long and prosper.